Hey, welcome back everyone. And today we're going to be showing you how to install MT Dealership. Because I understand that most people, they're like, where's a video of how to install? Because uh, most of it you have to do through documents and it gets a little bit frustrating. But it is very simple. Once you have purchased your MT Dealership, no matter if you did the open source or the um, $15 one, which is basically cryptid. You want to go ahead and install OXLib and uh, go ahead and install PMC um, Interactions or whatever. Once you install this, <clears throat> uh, then we can start working on your server. So I have the files already installed right here, but you would just go and install them like normal. And then right here, you would have your files. So let's go into resources. And let's go into standalone. And this is where we're going to put most of our resources. So we're going to put OXLib in standalone. And there's no SQL file for this. It's literally just the space file. And basically, uh, if you do have any questions, just do the readme. But most of it, it should just be uh, drag and drop. Okay. Now, PCM. Now, this does not also have an SQL. So you're good with that. Go ahead and drop that into your standalone. Now what I like to do. Hang on. I just made a duplicate of a file I didn't need to make a duplicate of. So go ahead and drag and drop both of these files into your standalone. Then go back over to resources. And now we're in our main resource. Now one thing you could do. You could really put this forever. But I'm just going to put it right here in the main folder of the resources. And another thing to note, um, we need to ensure this file. So we need to go back over to here and we need to go into the server.cfg. Once we're here in the server.cfg, you need to do ensure, then the um, dealer. But then we also need to, real quick, need to make sure that we ensure our, our other file. That we just dragged and dropped the PMC. You might be wondering, well, why are you doing that while it's in standalone? Well, actually, it doesn't seem to work without actually insuring that file. So just make sure you insure it. Some people may have different ideas or whatever, but make sure you just insure that file. Once you have done that, also, I just noticed I just did a mistake right here. I put an S instead of the, what it's supposed to be. Make sure you save by pressing Control S or going out to Files and clicking Save. Now, we are almost ready to start up our server. One thing we want to do, though, is go back over to our resources where we have the MT dealership. Click on it, run the SQL, and you want to open it. And then you want to make sure that you have selected your version of your 5M. And then make sure that you click on open folder and then dealership and then open. I've already installed it, so it's going to bring up this message, but that's completely fine. And then what you want is you want to click run. Same, I've already run this, but that's okay. And you want to click redo. Okay. So now that has been done, now you want to open up the config file. The config file is going to have many different files. So we have uh, our, our main file here, which will basically be saying, uh, you know, what's your base version? Are you Cubicore or are you ESX? If you're Cubicore, great, put Cubicore. Now, I may say QBX, that's not QBCore, so make sure you change it to QBCore, to, C, to QB. Uh, and then same with here, QB. It might say QBX like this, but just change it to QBCore. Whatever fill you're using, like you can use CDM fill, you can use all these other fields that, that, that they list here, but you can almost use every single field that you want. For now, we're going to leave it uh, the field that it is. And then we're going to leave the QB target as it is. You can use OX target if you wanted. Uh, you can use QB core banking or you can use any other banking that you would want. 
same goes for vehicle keys. If I say you have a custom vehicle keys, you can also do that as well. All right. Now, I turn debug on to true. By default, it is false, but that's just so we can actually see um, where everything is at. Because by default, you can't really notice where everything's at. Uh, this is like your inventory. You always want this to be true, and you always want to have your inventory here as Cubicore. It doesn't matter what type of uh, system you're running. I always think it's like mainly just Cubicore. Uh, import price, pricing. You can always change all these numbers and values. Um, I'll leave them the same for now. Email, let's say if someone buys a vehicle, they have an email sent to their phone. Yeah, you could put that true or false. This is the tow truck name and the trailer name for the flatbed and stuff. This is how long you have. So 60 seconds uh, equals up to be a minute. So this would be a minute of drive time for a test drive. And then if you want the test drive to be true, basically meaning if it's true, players can start and actually do test drives. If it's false, then basically, you know, they can't. Uh, and then we have sell vehicles player. So this command basically sells the vehicle to the player. Um, so you could do like uh, command equals sell vehicle. So then you can do like sell vehicle, put their ID, and then whatever the price it is. Or you could do sell vehicle.pdm. Uh, import lots. This is mainly um, your truck location and no, this is mainly like where you would go and you'd get the imports. These are all the categories that are in this. I actually added my own for PD. Uh, management menu. So these are your top. So your top coordinates is going to be where the location of it's going to be. The size of the box and the rotation of the box. And then the job that you have set inside your jobs, by default, it's vehicle car car dealer. Um, so that will be like one, two, three, four, like your grades. And then your truck, this is where your truck spawn code is. So your truck spawn code is basically like where, it, where you actually pull in imports and stuff, um, if that makes sense. Uh, vehicle sell coordinates. This is like where the vehicle would go once you sell the vehicle. Like let's say if you want to be like a hidden place to where they don't see it like spawn in, you can make that happen. Uh, and then these are just the same settings as well. Like let's say if you have another person that's running as a car dealer management, you can have them um, section off like right here. Uh, category locations. So this is mainly... Um, the locations of where the vehicles are. So the first one is basically the location of the, the the catalog. So basically like where they can test drive and all the other stuff. These are the size of the boxes. Basically the size of the coordinates. This is the rotation. Um, and then this is the vehicle uh, location. So this would be like the location of the showroom right here. And then you have the car by default that it will show. So this would be like the main car by default. Uh, then you have the car color that if it can vary, you know, it could be different car color. It could be uh, a change of color. This is, this col color is normally red. And then this is, this needs to stay as unique because every single, every single category that you make, you want to change that name uh, as you can tell, so we got PDM vehicle two, PDM vehicle three. Um, it makes it so the IDs are different and so it could be separated. Uh, so the vehicles won't collide or stuff. Uh, test drive locations. That's literally the same. Uh, I think this is mainly like where your vehicle go. Vehicle categories. This is. Basically, just making it sure that you know you have it set, and then the job that it takes to be able to change the showroom, basically.
and then this is just continues on and on and on and then this is your blimp so we're almost done so this is your blimp and this is basically all your blimps basically like where the location of it is and the scale and size and all other great stuff you can actually change the color here if you wanted so if you didn't want 12 being the color which would basically be like a blue you can change that so now that we have all that down let's actually go and let's basically open up the server so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to go to my local host by the way local host actually had an update recently with their tebex as you can tell it's totally different but it should be normally the same so one thing i want to do is i'm going to reset our server Make sure you have no errors in your console. And I'm going to speed this part up just so we're not just sitting here. Okay, so now that we're in our 5M server, we now need to go ahead and just tap into the whole thing. And now that we're in here, we now need to check see if we have any errors in our main console. And we need to check, make sure that we have any errors in here, which there is no errors. This is completely fine. This is normal uh, with the new uh, Tebex, with the new uh, server CFG. So I'm in the wrong dealership. So we need to actually go over to the dealership down here. So let's go over to here. And I'm going to show you all a little bit how to use it. So this is a brand new server, but at the same time, it's still kind of good. So let's go up and over here. So once you have set up your locations and stuff, so like we have a location here for the car, right? But if we go and we open up the category. So we can open up the category. <clears throat> we can test drive vehicles. So let's go and let's test drive a PD vehicle. Because we do actually have PD vehicles inside. So if we want to test drive this vehicle, this is all it takes. And now we're inside the vehicle. Um, now I don't have any like special lighting or anything for this. But then we can actually hop out of our vehicle. And we can look around the vehicle. We can press E to finish, and it pulls the vehicle out from our locations. Uh, now, now let's say if you wanted to import a vehicle. Um, this is another thing that I was struggling with personally. Um, but if you come over to here and you right-click and you go to display. Let's say we want, I don't know. Let's say we want one of these vehicles, right? Uh, let's just pull this minivan, right? Now it should show the, the thing, and you should be able to click enter. Now we got to wait for the truck to spawn. Um, and then if you want to switch car rooms, you want to switch, change the, like, the car room up. Let's say we want this Fento. Boom, there it is. And it's always going to be a red color, that's what I'm saying. So you would have to make it so where it's not always red. And all these work. Now the reason why we have all these other cars is because I have not removed the main car dealership. But... Once you remove the main car dealership and actually pull cars out of here, you shouldn't see none of all these cars. By the way, you want to make sure that your job is set as vehicle dealer manager. Now, to set that, all you need to do is make sure that you do with what it said as in the here. As, as it said in here, you know, car dealer. So do car dealer and then so do like set car dealer uh, four. Four would be your, um, depending on if you have a customizer or whatever. And then you can actually come in here, you know, if you want to go into your boss menu, uh, you can. And then you can hire, fire, um, you can manage employees, you can manage majority of their stuff, like their grades, their firemen. You can actually open up the clothing menu. Um, there's so much more you can do. So much more. But 
apart from that, yeah, this tutorial is mainly over. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial um, as well as I did. It was very fun to create. Um, mainly if now our trucks arrived. Uh, but normally, you know, you would go in your truck, drive to location, which we're just going to do a quick little TP to, to the location just so we can actually show all, show this off. Okay. Normally I wouldn't do that. Oh no, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. Normally I wouldn't do this like TP and stuff. Normally, you know, you would actually role play it out. So that's our driving thing that we need. So we're just going to pull this right here. Okay. We'll hop out. Uh oh, I just realized what I did. All right. So we're going to hop out right here. We'll leave our truck here. And this is what we need to get into this big old thing. So I'll hop in. We'll go pick up our shipping container and then we'll TP back to the base. One thing I've noticed a little bit of an issue uh, with the script is let's say you have another driver with you. I don't know if it was just a fluke on one of these cars, but it, uh, it seemed like it didn't want to actually pick up the car. Like whenever I tried to drive back, it the car fell over. All, like off the shipping container. There we go. So now that we got that on there, we can now hop off this. And I'm gonna try to TP over there just so we can Hurry up this video. We should be able to. Let's see. So then you drive it all the way back over to your shop. I'm just going to go right here. So we do not go too far. Okay, we actually still have our shipment, which is good. So now we'll just drive our shipment over to this area right here. And you want to go all the way over. You want to go back into your shop and then you should actually have that van available to be able to be bought. So if we come back over to here and we open up this menu and we go into our stockyard. Now we can actually add more or we can guess what? We can sell it. Now let's see if you want to sell it to me, right? I'm the only person that wants to buy it. Boom. Boom. I now just bought a van. Now I have keys to that van. Now, I'm not sure where the van actually went. Oh, <laughs> it's actually inside. <laughs> okay, so you have to, you would have to re, you set up your location for your cells, for your vehicles, um, mainly because of this reason here, um, because you don't want your vehicles to be basically in somewhere that you don't want. <laughs> That's funny. And we can actually get into it. But no, yeah, that's basically how you use this system. If y'all enjoyed today's tutorial, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Stay frosty.